Welcome, FraserNet friends, to the network's virtual office calendar service. Posting your event here will result in inclusion within our news brief, Happy Friday. This tutorial will acquaint you with how to post your event or events, as you may have more than one. After you've logged into the network's virtual office, click on the calendar link. Clicking the calendar link will take you to our calendar displayed in month view. Right now you're seeing July. You may wish to change the next month or year. You can do so by clicking here. Here we're changing to August. To add your event, click on the date that your event starts. In this case, let's say August the 5th. You'll be taken to the day view with visual time intervals. Now find the actual event time. Let's say it's 7 o'clock. Click on the event start time and the new event page will appear. Please fill it in. First, to share the event with everyone, change sharing from personal to everyone. Type in your event title. Please keep your title within 50 characters. Then you may add a description of your event. The character minimum is 250 here. Choose the event type from the menu. If you would like to suggest a new event type, please contact the network site admin. In this case, we are choosing network teleconferencing. And please add an event URL link to provide navigation directly to your website. Uh, we didn't type here, we just copied and pasted everything into uh, these areas for you. Please indicate if it's an all-day event or a timed event. Again, it's 7 o'clock. Just making sure. Indicate the length of the event in hours and minutes. In this case, it's really just a one-hour event. If the event repeats without change, you may replicate the event's info into the calendar. Note the default is do not repeat. If your event does not repeat, just click Save Now. If your event does repeat, indicate a cutoff date. Also indicate the number of time your event will repeat. Then click Save when you are finished. Upon clicking Save, you'll be taken to the Reminders the event reminder allows you, uh, they are optional and you can put up to two days for reminders. Once you click on add reminders you'll get the first notification and second notification. In this case we're going to have first notification on uh, August the 1st and there will be no second notification. Uh, so we're going to click no second notification here. And then we're going to fill in uh, information to remind uh, anyone about the, uh, the event that's coming up. Once you click add, it will populate the reminder. And now all you have to do is return to the calendar. Here we've come back to uh, July, but now we We'll go and check August, and we see empowered men make strong families and prosperity. Now let's change over and check the week view. This is important because we copy the week's information and place the content in Happy Friday. Note. At any time, the calendar that you see may seem sparse with little happening. However, there are many network participant groups using private posts to the same calendar, but you will not be able to see their content. Whenever you post anything, just make sure that you choose everyone. Thank you for learning how to post your event. Our network participants appreciate knowing about your work. For friend, if you want a personal login, please contact the site admin at 
K-E-I-T-T-C-O-M at gmail.com. Having your own login will allow you to see more content in our virtual office.